go delays a bit maybe to fix some few issues in the background. I mean, uh, talking about S. Grasha, maybe we need to we need to argue for S. What is the thing? I'm trying to see if I can see a lot of you joining us. Uh, I'm not seeing you on the on the on our live stream. This is state of play, so we need to make sure that we can tell our, our peace of mind to the technical guys. If if they mess the thing up, we need to tell them. But I, I can't see you. Are we? Can they watch us? I think they can now. They can now. Okay, okay, okay. So good, good. Okay. So so welcome, welcome, and let, let's let's have a conversation there. Um, we were, we we're talking about the the ex Gracia thing. Yeah. Um, the we are fed of, of course decided to return his ex Gracia. Some have criticised him for it. Some say he was he was being political. Wanted to score political points. Um, <clears throat> but really, if you look at it. His argument was twofold. He says, one, you paid me salary mm -hmm. whilst I was there on a part-time job. And, and so, yeah, you know, I don't, you don't, as Grace says, thank you. Thank you, thank yes. you very much. You know, you don't need to thank me. Mm -hmm. the, the thanks is enough because of the salaries I took. Um, some have taken issue with that. I, I don't understand why people have taken no, issue hold with on. that. People say he's trying to do what? He's trying to be a populist? Yeah, populist and, you know, take, you know score political points. Oh, it is better to score political points this way. Look, if this is the best way to score political points, then I prefer to be afraid then. I prefer our Ghanaian politicians to do this all the time, mm -hmm. to return to the states and say, you know what, I think I don't deserve this. Someone, <laughs> he, he didn't return his salary, Evans. He did not return the salaries paid him. Mm -hmm. He did not. He returned the S-Gracia. He says, I don't deserve this. You have to, you're telling me that, oh, I'm giving you all your salaries. But at the end of it all, I'm saying, thank you. So every year, four months of your salary is what I am giving to you. The man says, I don't need it. This cannot amount to trying to score cheap political points. This is a man who has done something to actually get our conscience to ask ourselves that simple question, whether we're treating the people of this country right. Yeah, I mean, you're right. And I, I completely agree, even if it was a populist gesture, mm -hmm. because again, I, can, I don't know his motive. Yeah. I only take him at his word. He said a few things in a statement to explain what has happened. <clears throat> now, here's the thing. Those who are feeling uncomfortable about this, you know when they say dry bones, when dry bones are mentioned, the, the old ladies feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Those who are feeling uncomfortable about this are those who feel they've been exposed by what he's doing. Mm -hmm. So when all of us have our hands in the thing, in the booty, then you take your hand out and say, I don't want it anymore. Mm -hmm. I've, I've had, um, I've repented. Yeah. What it means is you, you are shining a light on, on the folks who still have their hand in the thing. And they don't like that. Mm -hmm. That is why I see there's a backlash. That is why. Because I don't see any... If somebody says, <clears throat> I am going to add... And I want to be specific here. I'm going to add at least 366,340 cities back to the consolidated fund. I assume he's going to go back, right? We should applaud him. Of course. This is an economy in crisis. This amount of money can do a lot for a chips compound. This amount of money can do a lot for a village um, mechanized borehole. Look. So I don't really get why people are criticizing him. Yeah, I mean, if it's for populist reason, he's exposing a problem that we've had with, look, so ex Gracia, yesterday, in of Fusini explained his sort of end of end of term benefit because those uh, special article 71 office holders, they are contract staff. Hey, uh, look, there's a deceit <laughs> to all of this. There's a deceit to all of this. In of Fusini, who is explaining that? How many times was he in, uh, was he in parliament? Yeah, he says he took ex Gracia by just hundred thousand. He, he, he took what? Ex Gracia by just hundred thousand. Who 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 took this hundred thousand? He in of Fusini. Uh, the committee's report we're talking about applies to him. How much was he paid? So How much was Inu Safuseni paid? Please, let's not go there. You see, the point that I really <clears> want to make is that what saddens me is that here's a case where majority of the people who are condemning and insulting the man are not even the beneficiaries yeah. of Esgrecia. So it's not someone who is, say, a member of parliament or a minister 
earning his grace. That says, oh, don't mind to be up there. Somebody on the fringes. He doesn't earn that. And he feels it is important to defend those who earn that. For me, that's a problem. Mm, that's a very important point. That's a problem. That if you, sitting on the fringes, <clears throat> if you, you're on Facebook, you're on social media, condemning somebody who says, look, let me return this money to the state. Mm -hmm. And at least at that point in time, we should be putting pressure on the others to return monies to the state. We have talked about this, I mean, for, for a very long time. We've asked the question, why are we still paying these people as gracia? And then you decide that, oh, don't worry. Uh, they've been the man, uh, this is hypocrisy. This is hypocrisy. So why didn't he return a salary? Please. Please. He says, I have been paid. I do not want an end of service benefit. Because so far as I care, so far as I know, I have been paid for it. He did not say, I don't want to be paid for it. He says, I have been paid for it. Mm -hmm. And I will take no further money from the state. This is patriotism. And the timing is very important. He's got us having a conversation. And I think today, the beneficiaries of Esgrisha are worried. And I see it's about time. If we are truly convinced, okay, and if we think that we are in difficult times and we have decided to cut salaries of political appointees, let us start that conversation today. Enough. No more Esgrisha. Yeah, I mean, and we are not saying do not pay Article 71 office holders. Don't pay their salaries. So, I mean, that's all we're saying. We have already put this in the Constitution, what they earn, etc. You know, so that's fine. Pay them their salary. Pay them what they're due at the end of the month. What we are opposed to is after you've paid them all the salaries and all the pegs and the free fuel, you give them vehicles <laughs> and all the thing. Remember that they are serving us. That's a very important thing. Uh -huh. they, are, yeah, what we call, they are in what we call the public service. Yes. They are there to serve us, the public. So if you have a situation where you serve, and whilst you're serving, we make sure that you are extremely comfortable, extremely comfortable. Look, let me go through the salaries. Let me go through the salaries so you appreciate what I'm coming from. The president, according to the last emolument review, the president takes 47,000. 277 CDs, okay? The vice president takes 39,397 CDs. The speaker of parliament takes 35,021 CDs. Chief justice, 34,146. Cabinet members who are ministers and MP combined, they take 33,000, right? Your cabinet minister, who is a non-member of parliament, will take 32,000. The chairman of the Council of State mm -hmm. takes 28,455 CDs. The member of parliament takes 28,017 CDs. Now, the Council of State member, like Togbe Afede was, was taking home every month 26,200 and 66. Now tell me, how many Ghanaians earn this sort of salary at the end of the month? How many? Few. Extremely few. No, like a no, 1%. Nobody on single spine earns this. Nobody. Nobody on single spine. Nobody in fact, that. in fact, you know, if you look at the committee's report, it, it, it tells you that, you know, if you compare the highest single spine earner to this, and if you look at their base pay of a single spine, their base pay, this is three times more than what a single spine, uh, uh, someone on single spine would earn. I think it should be more. Well, you know, on the average. On the average, three times. So, so, so I'm looking at the highest earner on single oh, spine. Oh, highest, highest, highest earner. Oh, okay, okay. The base pay, you know, single spine, all of it, base pay. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at the base pay. You got a few things to it, you know, probably may take it to, yeah. you know, 12,000, 13,000, or yeah. like that. But even that, notwithstanding, just imagine, just imagine, on the average, if you look at the article 71 office holder, Amount of money he earns. You compare that to the, I mean, what a single spine a salary uh, 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 worker earns. That is enormous. So you are being paid well. Yeah. 
And I am not going to come here and say, oh, they shouldn't pay you your money. Yeah, it's okay. Because that's what the committee yeah. says, you should be paid. Take it. So take it. Even though I have my issues with it. For, 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 well, of course, of course, of course. Because I mean, I'm, 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 I'm not going to get there. Yes. When you are done, go. Let's go. I mean, you take all this, and by the way, this is just the pay, this is the salary. They will take free fuel. They will live in a bungalow. You know, oh, they, will, yes. they will get so electricity will stick to taking care of it, water. Uh, yeah, that's right. for that, that's for the ministers. Do, ministers those who live in and the, um, the you know, judges and all oh, yeah, the government bangles. You know, you know, so so we are doing all that for you. And then we are giving you this handsome pay. Mm -hmm. And then you tell us that after we've done all this for you just to serve us, when you are done and you are going, we should give you part of this bulk and, and say thank you and just give it to you too. Why? In a poor country like us, like ours, there is no justification why we should still have this end of service benefit for public servants who take these huge salaries at the end of their term. It doesn't make sense. And we are having this conversation at the time when the workers, ordinary workers, you know, they, they are you know, agitating for salaries. They look at this and they say, why shouldn't I ask for my own pound of flesh? Now, listen, let's talk about the ex gratia so the president, based on the computation of the S Gratia, for the first term, he's entitled to an S Gratia of six hundred and fifty-nine thousand three hundred and ninety-two. Yes. CDs. Now the Togri Afede published here, so we know that. He and all the other council of state members, who, who by the way, were part-time workers. No, but they, see, they meet, they meet once. I mean, Extremely part-time. They're supposed to meet once in every, once every quarter. Every, like, four, so four times in a, four in times a year. Four times in a year. And you're being paid. Four times. They're meeting only four times in a year. You're being paid 26,000 and, 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 and they take 26,000 cities a month for meeting four times in a year. And then when they are going, you give them 366,000 cities. It, it, it's... It's just not fair. It is, it is, you are completely out of touch. But you see, I blame the Constitution. Because the Constitution created this architecture. No, between... don't, no, don't blame the Constitution. And let me explain why you don't have to blame the Constitution. Okay. The Constitution says the emoluments of these persons shall be decided by a committee. The committee sits down and decides that they should be paid as gratia. The committee is what sits down and decides that we pay them as gratia. So it's not a constitution saying they should, they, I mean, the and, entitlements, gratuities, and all of that. If the committee sits down and decides that they don't need these, what will they do? Yeah. Shall be determined by a committee. Now the committee says, you don't need all of these things. What do they do? They can't do anything. And you see, this is the point. Are you aware that but for Dome level, they, the government was even going to pay members of the 2005 to 2009 parliament, additional escrow Are you aware? Under the, uh, the last administration of the Nakufuado, they were going to pay them. They came and did some computation, sent it, it got approval, and then the Auditor General decided he, the information was released into the uh, you know, public domain. We condemned it, we criticized it, and then they stopped. So it's like at every given time, the people who are supposed to serve this country, the people who go around telling you and me that they are coming to better our lives, not only better and not, not only fail to better our lives, they also want to enhance their lives only. Okay? Yeah. And that's what we have become as a people, and then unfortunately. When, and then when you're done, they will tell teachers that their reward is in heaven. You know, meanwhile, you... Where, you, where, 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 where is heaven? <laughs> Heaven is here on earth. What is it? Where, where, for, where? For, for the Article 71 where, where of the So honestly, it is time to review this payment to, to the Article 71 office holders. In the context of everything that's happening right now, they, they, there's no justification for this. And you can argue that Ghana's biggest problem has been politicians. Yes. Right? Ghana's biggest problem. Because without them, we possibly would have progressed a bit more. So considering that they created a lot of problems for us, and yet at the same time paying themselves, and the, and the thing about it, they pay themselves. Oh yes. So the the president is determining the salaries and emoluments of everybody else, yes. and then parliament is a, you know. So it is I scratch your back, you scratch my you back, know. and then when it's time for it, they go for a committee of the whole meeting. You don't um, have a lot of rejections. Parliament will send 
uh, communications to the presidency and say, uh, this is too, uh, you have not taken good care of us. So if you don't take good care of us, we also not take good care of you. Simple. Then the executive will say, oh, 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 oh you, 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 you bring it back. Uh, we'll approve something good for you. My goodness. Famous Smith says, how do you expect our leaders to have, to have a feel of what is uh, the ordinary citizen experiences every day if they are paid these huge salaries? You, you're right, Famous. Samo uh, Opoku Abebio, we are opposed to paying council of state members ex gratia while the others should be drastically reduced or totally scrapped. I, I am for scrapping. Don't reduce it. Let's, let's scrap the ex gratia. Because, you see, the, I don't see the purpose of end of service. Because yesterday on PM Express, the question was asked of Inusa Fuseni. When you are a member of parliament, when you take your salary, do you pay SNET contribution? He says yes. yes. Okay. So I've seen people say, oh, but that's, you know, we, 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 are, not, we are not benefiting from pension. That's not true. All public servants, when they finish service and they retire, they, get, they only go for their pensions. That's all they get. Yes. That's all they get. Why should it be different from the member of parliament? Why should it be different from the president? Why should it be different from a council of state member? You know, a cabinet minister or a minister of, of state. It just simply doesn't make sense. Serve your four years, take your salary, leave, rely on your pensions when you retire. It's as simple as that, because that is what all the other workers in this great country of ours do. I mean, can you imagine if workers also start demanding as gratia So when they finish, calculate four months of, of their salary they've earned, and multiply, do the same, and pay them all, because they will be justified. Can, 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 you, see, you, see, you see, this is the point. I did not ask you to become a member of parliament. Yeah. Just don't come and complain to me. If you think, and I say this all the time, if you think being a member of parliament is difficult for you, please, go home. That's Tell it. us. I mean, I know somebody who came to parliament and said, ah, is this how this your parliament is? I won't come again. That's it. He never showed up in parliament again. In fact, he told his people, I am not going again. Don't come to me again That's and it. ask me for any money. I am not going again. He left. If you think you cannot do the job, please, walk out. Mm -hmm. Tell the people who brought you that Ejman Mejai if the pay is not enough for you, what no counts? problem, go. If you, we, we don't want you to get as grass like you think it's a problem, go, go. You'll get your cars. I mean, MPs will argue we, we get a loan. But if the, the, the terms of that loan is what me and you can also access. Oh, yeah, the 60% that the, that, that the state will pay for them on the income. Yeah. Uh, I mean, of it. If I get 60%, nah. if I get 60%, I, 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 no, like every four years, I change your car. Yeah, yeah. You can see how they keep going back. Yeah. But even that one. Even that, just a, 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 a chipping in this, we have voices of all those who said going forward they should stop. We wait for their next conversation on that. Um, Salatil uh, says, what did the state, replying to Samuel Poku Abebio, and what did he state as his principle based on which he did the return? He said two things. That he, when he was the council of state member, he was, he was paid salary, and for him that's okay. That's, that's what a just reward for the service he rendered. And so he doesn't require a, a thank you gift when he was partying. Uh, so Moku Abibio comes and replies that, which I did. Abukari has to say, Evans, my problem with Togbe is returning it to the government because they will misuse it. Imagine sending his money to the northern region to construct uh, my community bridge at Zitugu. We are waiting to see what Paul will, if NDC come to... So I, I get Hassan's point, and I think it's a valid point, mm -hmm. that some of them would have donated it to charity. Some of them would have donated it to charity. Yeah. Right? And they said, yeah, I was paid this. I don't think I deserve it. So I am going to do uh, 15 mechanized boreholes or whatever it is that the cost is mm -hmm. for communities in some parts of the country. So I get a message from a recipient of S. Gersha mm -hmm. who says, there's no problem. The man was defending the statutory position, not necessarily whether it was right or wrong. He says, uh, he says, if that's abhorrent, let's revoke it rather than bastardize the legitimate recipients as if they are criminals. I'm, in, I'm indifferent about S. Gracia or the frequency of payment. I'll collect as long as it's legal. If it's taking away two, I care less. I, I see the principle. I mean, it is legal. It says it's part of my um, conditions of service. Yeah. So I take it, right? There are some people who, for moral reasons, conscience, etc., who say, no, I'm not, I can't in good conscience take it. They're also right to take that position. 
right? And I get a point. I mean, if it's legal, of course, you take it. If, I'm, if you decide to pay me. That's why I'm saying let's, you know, that's so no, let's, saying, take, let's take it out of your hands. Let's take it out away. Yeah, let's take it I away. I will not give it to mm. you again. Papa Tioku says the Constitution needs a serious review. This Article 71 thing is making beneficiaries take undue advantage of the citizenry. Part time job earning that much each month and a colossal ex gratia is a slap in the face. Um, Solomon Nyantechi, whoever swear to scrap it, get my support, regardless of his or her party. Everything we earn as a country goes to reward political class and they get whatever they perform uh, or not. It's insane, he says. Evelyn says, you are not being fair. Uh, and that's uh, a response. Uh, to one of the comments that uh, had been said earlier. So a few of your comments there uh, on, on the important subject of, of S. Gracia, um that has become key on the back of Togbe. Look, I, we need to applaud Togbe Afede. I mean, you have to. But I don't understand where the argument about political, but he's a politician. Oh, no, he's a chief. Yeah. I don't know people link it. People think he's doing the bidding of an NDC. Oh, no, no, no. You know. <laughs> uh, I was going to say something. <laughs> For, and, and, and you know, I... I, I grew up in Ho. Yeah. I go to Ho all the time. For those who know Togbe Afede very well. Ah, have we not seen Togbe Afede, you know, uh, criticizing, condemning the NDC before? He's done the same to the NPP. Okay. Uh, he was board chairman of a bank under the NDC. He still maintained his position as a board chairman of that bank under the NPP until he resigned. So it's not something, uh, you know, you, 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 you don't have to look at him and think that he's a politician. No. He's a traditional ruler. He's a businessman. Um, you know that uh, he was part of the founders of Data Bank. Yeah. And later moved to establish the. So you mean if anything, so he has a good relationship with, with Ken. I think they fell out, didn't they? Oh, well, I love them. Yeah. Well, well um, Kudia Borgresho says, we just have to be bold and scrap that unpopular emolument called as Grasha. It doesn't make economic sense. Kofi Ajiban Blackman, uh, watching you inside Pig Farm. And I like the Pig Farm comment because it's like it has a rhyme with animal farm um <laughs> if you know what i mean um solomon the irifi says but is the cash cow still available now tell me who the highest single spying salary earner is at the moment we are gnashing here uh Mame ya even why council of state even why council of state can't we do without them we can of course and uh, yesterday a uh, point was made on my show by uh, Professor Jimin Via and Inusa Fuseni both ask, asking that the council state be simply scrapped. Uh, Ghana's biggest problem is religion. Politics comes after, he says. Okay. Um, well, religion has its own problems. Okay. So those are a few of your views on this matter. Um, but look, I need to say something. Recently, I, it's, it's been, it's, when I sleep, I dream about it. Citizens complain a lot. And they say, well, we, the media, we're not doing enough. But if you really want something done about S. Russia, you, the citizens, you, the citizens, have all the power. They do. All the power is in your hands, really. So it's okay to talk about it, but it's better to take action. Take action if you really want this done. The MPs are in parliament, you know. So, yeah, that's, that's my... That's it. Yes, that's take action. action. That's all. Okay. And you're the rest of your day.